Hi everybody, my name is Linda Nelson and I'm the preschool director here at Shepherd of the Valley. Thanks for having me today. I have a really important question for you. If you could have any superpower, what superpower would you choose? I heard flying, super strength, good one. Walking through walls, that could be interesting. Ooh, teleportation. That's the one I would choose. What else? What other superpowers would you like? Mm, right now, it might be really nice to have the ability to control the weather. So that's a really good one. What else do you think? Ooh, electricity in your hands? Yeah, that could be really interesting. Huh. Hmm. If I wanted a superpower, how do I get a superpower? Oh, right. Some of those comic books have people getting superpowers by accident. Ooh, some, that's right, some were born with certain superpowers. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Hmm. Oh, some are giving it as a gift. That's right, somebody gave them their superpowers. Interesting. Hmm. That made me think about today's Bible story a little bit. Did you know that Jesus has a superpower? I know, it's pretty cool. What do you think his superpowers are? Healing. Yep, he was able to heal people who were sick or injured. What else could he do? Oh yeah, he could walk on water. That could be a good one. Mm, I like that. He was very good at listening and making sure people felt heard. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh I really like that one. Thank you. He has the superpower of forgiveness. Even people who did just the worst things to him, he forgave them. Isn't that wonderful? But did you know that all of those things that Jesus does is really a part of his superpower? Because his superpower is love. Jesus loves us so much that he can do all of these things. And what's really cool is in his story today, he was telling us how to have his superpower. Oh, how, how does he do that, you ask? Well, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for asking. He actually does that by giving us the Bible. In today's story, he read how to act a certain way. He literally picked up the Bible and read it to them and told them how to act. And then he said, that's all you need to know. How awesome. Now, when somebody teaches you and give you instructions, do you always listen? Or is it easy to follow along? Is it easy to do what you're told? It's not, right? We all have to work on that. That's why instead of Jesus just telling us one time, he gave us the Bible so that we could have it with us and always have it to look at so that we continue to be taught by him. Every time we look at the Bible, every time we hear a story, he's teaching us again how to have his superpower of love with each other. Isn't that, I just find that really great and super comforting and oh on these really cold days so heartwarming to be able to know that god loves me no matter what jesus loves me no matter what and they're trying to share that superpower with me with the bible and all i have to do is read it and listen try it when you get home or try it later today or this week but try it look at the bible read a story and gain some of their superpower all right, pray, pray with me. Dear Lord, thank you so much for sharing your superpower with us. Help us to listen to your teachings and to keep the Bible close by. Thank you for always loving us so much and help us to continue to love each other. Amen. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.